How Russia's Su-34 Unleashes the Monstrous FAB-3000 on Ukraine. The skies over Ukraine now herald a new era of terror as Russian Su-34 fighter bombers unleash the FAB-3000, a colossal 3,000-kilogram, 6,600-pound glide bomb capable of obliterating entire city blocks with a single cataclysmic strike. This weapon has fundamentally transformed the battlefield in recent weeks, turning fortified positions into apocalyptic wastelands. The horrifying reality of its power was tragically underscored in Sumy Oblast on April 8, 2024, when a Su-34 released a FAB-3000 on the town of Velika Paisarivka. The impact was catastrophic, leveling a school, multiple residential buildings, and critical infrastructure. The explosion, equivalent to detonating 1.4 tons of TNT, generated a shockwave felt miles away, killing at least three civilians and trapping dozens more under mountains of rubble. This attack is far from isolated. Across the embattled eastern regions of Ukraine, from the shattered streets of Kharkiv to the defensive lines around Chasivyar, FAB 3000s have systematically annihilated military strongholds, industrial facilities, vital bridges, and apartment complexes. In Avdivka, these monstrous bombs collapsed underground bunkers previously thought impregnable, while in Kherson, they vaporized river crossings crucial for Ukrainian logistics. The psychological impact on both soldiers and civilians is profound and paralyzing. Troops describe the distinctive approach of a Su-34 laden with these bombs as a haunting death whistle. Knowing survival against a weapon that leaves craters 15 meters wide and triggers seismic events detectable by monitoring stations is unlikely. Russia's strategic escalation to mass FAB 3000 strikes represents a grim tactical evolution ruthlessly exploiting Ukraine's limited air defense capabilities to achieve devastating effects. Each bomb delivers a fireball reaching temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius, 1,832 degrees Fahrenheit, instantly incinerating everything within a 150-meter radius and hurling lethal fragmentation up to 1.2 kilometers away. In the aftermath of the Sumi attacks, entire neighborhoods were reduced to what rescue workers described as concrete confetti, with victims often only identifiable through DNA analysis due to the sheer destructive force. Beyond the horrific civilian toll, FAB-3000s have crippled Ukrainian military resilience. Near Toretsk, a single strike obliterated a battalion command post buried 10 meters underground, while in Pokrovsk, another flattened a major weapons depot in an explosion so massive it was visible from space. Ukrainian forces now face an impossible tactical dilemma. Fortify their positions and risk instantaneous annihilation, or retreat and cede strategically vital territory. With Russia reportedly dropping over 100 of these glide bombs daily, cities like Kharkiv are being rendered uninhabitable. Reports indicate 40% of its structures are damaged, with water and power grids shattered beyond immediate repair. This is not merely an application of firepower, it is industrialized erasure, deliberately designed to break Ukraine's defensive will through the application of overwhelming indiscriminate force. The effectiveness of this terror hinges on the capabilities of the Su-34 fullback strike aircraft and the technologically upgraded FAB-3000 bomb. The Su-34, designed for deep penetration missions, combines an impressive 4,000-kilometer range, supersonic speed, Mach 1.8, and a massive 12,000-kilogram payload capacity. 
Its advanced SVP-24 navigation system allows for remarkably precise bombing even in dense electronic warfare environments. However, the true game-changer is the FAB-3000 itself, retrofitted with a UMPK Unified Glide and Correction Module Kit. An attack unfolds with chilling efficiency. The Su-34 releases the bomb from a high altitude, 10 to 15 kilometers, and a significant distance behind the front lines, 50 to 70 kilometers, placing it safely beyond the reach of most Ukrainian air defense systems. Upon release, the UMPK module's fold-out wings deploy and its integrated GPS GLONASS guidance system activates, transforming the inert free-fall bomb into a highly accurate, smart glider. Using inertial navigation supplemented by satellite corrections, the bomb steers itself towards the target with frightening precision, achieving an estimated circular error, probable CP, of just 5 to 10 meters even when faced with electronic jamming attempts. Upon impact, the FAB-3000's hardened steel casing first penetrates reinforced concrete or deep into the earth before its massive 1,400 kilogram payload of high explosive filler, a potent mix of TNT and RDX, detonates. The detonation creates a devastating dual phase effect an initial supersonic overpressure wave that shatters structures and ruptures internal organs within milliseconds, followed by a secondary fragmentation effect where the thick steel casing splinters into over 15,000 lethal shards, traveling at speeds exceeding 1,500 meters per second. In urban environments, this triggers domino collapses of multi-story buildings. In trench systems, it liquefies the soil, burying survivors alive. Ukraine's attempts to counter this threat face severe limitations. Its primary air defense systems, such as the Soviet-era S-300s or the scarce high-value Patriot batteries, struggle to intercept the Su-34s operating at these extended standoff ranges. While electronic warfare tactics like those employed near Pokrovsk can occasionally disrupt the UMPK's guidance signals, they rarely prevent the bomb from reaching its general target area with catastrophic effect. Mobile air defense assets, like Gepard anti-aircraft tanks, lack the necessary range to engage the high-flying Su-34s, forcing Ukrainian ground troops into a debilitating cycle of constant displacement to avoid being fixed and destroyed. The FAB-3000 with UMPK represents a strategy of cost-effective brutality. Each bomb costs approximately $1.2 million, a fraction of the price of a cruise missile, yet delivers unparalleled destructive power and area denial. Russia's deliberate shift to mass-producing these glide bombs, with stockpiles reportedly exceeding 3,000 units since 2023, exploits its significant advantage in scaling aerial bombardment to artillery-like intensity. For Ukraine, the consequences are dire and multifaceted. Militarily, the loss of previously considered safe fortified positions forces rapid, often disorganized retreats, as witnessed in Avdivka. For civilians, cities face devastation reminiscent of historical bombardments, with over 12,000 buildings reported destroyed by such munitions in 2024 alone. Technologically, the UMPK kit exemplifies how legacy dumb munitions can be affordably modernized to gain a significant asymmetric advantage, directly challenging NATO's doctrine of expensive ultra-precision strikes. In conclusion, the Su-34 and FAB-3000 combination epitomizes the terrifying fusion of Cold War-scale destructive power with modern precision guidance, a weapon system that effectively bypasses existing air defenses to erase targets with near impunity. As Russia intensifies production with reports of TNT factories operating 24-7, Ukraine's ability to withstand this onslaught hinges critically on the urgent provision of advanced Western military aid. This includes F-16 fighter jets, 
capable of intercepting Su-34s before they launch. Significantly more Patriot air defense batteries to cover wider areas and long-range deep strike missiles capable of targeting the Russian airfields from which these missions originate. Without these critical capabilities, the relentless shockwaves of the FAB-3000 will continue to systematically redraw the map of Ukraine, transforming city blocks and defensive lines into desolate graveyards from the skies, marking a harrowing chapter in modern warfare where knowledge of the threat is the essential first step towards developing an effective defense.